All right, folks, right here at dark in Alabama, me and Liz are going to throw our own custom designed buzz baits. I'm going to throw the Bama Frog. It's got the green frog leg trailers. And Liz is going to throw the Black Widow. It's black with the red stripes down it, just like a Black Widow. We're going to start off this afternoon, throw it, see if we can get some bites. If we do, we're going to come back here first thing in the morning and fish some more. So let's see if we can have a husband versus wife buzz bait fish off. Liz, what are the stakes going to be? You want to do something aquarium related? All right. You pick. Um, How about whoever catches the most fish, the loser has to clean the aquarium for the first month. We just got a brand new 300 gallon aquarium, folks, and it's going to require some, <laughs> some cleaning. So going for most bass, doesn't matter what size they are. I know Liz would win that if we did size. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go for numbers here. Buzz bait fish off, husband versus wife. Challenge starts now. There we go. Oh, he did not get enough of it. There we go. There we go. He's pulling a little bit. Late afternoon, buzz bait bite. We got the custom painted Bama Frog Buzz Bait with a little frog legs on there, trailer hook on there. Looks like it all did its job. <laughs> Somebody got my leg wrapped around. Nice little chunky two pounder. We'll take it. There he is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Chunky. Come on up here, buddy. He was just hanging out by the pier, waiting on an old buzz bait to come around. All right, Liz, that's number two for me. I know you're about to get him. It's just a matter of time. I'm, I better jump out to a lead against her. Bama frog, buzz bait struck first. Good one. Yep. What are those birds? <laughs> Looking at birds flying around. Nice. First fish of the morning here. We're back at it with buzz baits. Came out here to this little sunken tree pile. Made a few casts. Liz is hooked up. Nice one. Good way to start the morning. Help wake you up. All right, so Liz, that's Liz's first buzz bait fish and I've got two. So we're gonna see if we can keep this buzz bait bite going. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, he got it. Yes. Took, took him a minute. That was fun. You could sit there and watch him shoot over and get it. Come on up here, buddy. You ain't that big. Alrighty. It's my first buzz bait fish of the morning. You got one? Oh yeah. I mean Liz basically just doubled up. I just dropped mine off. Yeah, pull them. There you go. Get them away from that wood. Perfect. <laughs> he 
<laughs> he threw it right in his mouth, huh? He had mouth open waiting for breakfast. Let him go on around the motor if you want to. There you go. Mm-hmm. Finally on a little bus bait bike. Nice. You got me beat in size. Mine wasn't that big. All right, so that makes Liz a second and my third. Mm-hmm. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, guys, in case you haven't seen these buzz baits before, these are they're really cool. There's a couple features I want to talk about really quick. With a buzz bait, you're either looking for a clacker style or a squeaker. And by clacker, it's whenever that blade spins around and it hits the head and makes that clacking noise. So what you can do with these, the really cool thing about it is you can make it a clacker or a squeaker. So if you push it in just a little bit and get that blade to hit that head on the way around, it'll make a really loud clacking noise. Clack, clack, clack. All right, now if you pull it out just a little bit, it becomes a squeaker. There you go, and that's the sound we're using right there. We're using the squeaker sound this morning because it's early in the morning. You don't need that really loud sound. So what you want to do is first thing in the morning when it's calm out, go with that squeaker sound and then if the wind picks up and you need to make it a little bit louder go with that clacker sound dual purpose multi-sound buzz bait here we go got him we're on a little spot now it's the third fish we pulled out of here They're just sitting up there, shallow water. Nothing like an early morning buzz bait bite. He got that one good. All right, head on back and chase some more. Pressure ought to be dropping now. That rainstorm's coming. There's one. Got him. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm not throwing it right in there on top of him. Just like Liz did earlier. What we got here? <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> there we go. Liz, you better catch up. How many you got now? This makes number five. Yep, yeah, little healthy one. Got him. I just get, oh yeah, she's always catching the bigger fish. I just got it out of my I mouth. You saw him? Uh -huh. There you go, let him go over. There you go. Man, it's tough to beat this, guys. Early morning. We got out here at 5 o'clock, late May, catching these bass on bus baits. Nice one. You always get the biggest fish. Oh, look at this, Liz. Oh, he broke me off. Holy cow. He broke my line off. I was He hit it right so close to the boat. I shouldn't have set the hook so hard. Man, that was a good fish right there. He, I cast it out, and while I was talking to Liz, I it was just sitting there on the bottom, and as soon as it moved, he came up and snatched it. Man, that was a good one right there. That was fun. <laughs> oh man all right guys talk about setup here for just a second there's a couple things that can really help you out buzz bait fishing one is a long rod because you're gonna need to keep that rod tip up high to keep the line out of the water and that'll help that buzz bait sound better we're using a seven foot one g loomis this is actually a frogging rod here and another thing is a high gear ratio on the reel when you make a cast what you want to do is get that buzz bait up high you want to start reeling almost as soon as it hits the water and keep it up high in the water column. That's in that line up out of the water. That's what's going to keep that buzz bait on the surface 
and making that good sound. If you let the line go down, and you definitely want to use mono because if that line sinks, then the buzz bait doesn't make the buzzing sound. So I'm using 17 pound strand mono, seven to one gear ratio, and a seven foot one long, tall rod. You want to keep that rod tip up at 12 o'clock. Goodness! <laughs> well, I'm sitting here retying. Liz is about to tie it up. It was four to five. I heard that one. That one smashed it, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> she has tied it up five to five it's gonna be a tight race here there you go man yeah they are they're nice and chunky mm-hmm tied it up Of course, I get the squeakers. <laughs> that is why you don't challenge Liz to a size competition. That makes number six for me. Oh, yeah. Yep. I thought he's bigger. <laughs> that will tie it. All right, Liz, what do you say? Since we're tied up, we got a dozen fish. Next fish wins. I'll, I'll wait until you get that one off and we'll have a sudden death okay. for tank cleaning for a month. Sound good? Yep. All right, yep. good deal. Tied up. Tied up, number six. six. Who would you guys put your money on? I'd put my money on Liz. <laughs> Oh, the same fish. I should have thrown in there. That would have been bad news right there. I think Liz has got him this time. I think she's got him. Got me beat. She got this one hooked good. Yep. Yep, I'm afraid I've lost. The only chance I have is doubling up before you get it in the boat. Keep fighting, fish. Yep, that's a good one. You have definitely got the better size. Man, nice one. Hmm. Good way to end the morning right there. That's a nice looking fish. All right, I accept defeat. Liz has beat me once again. I had a nice little lead on her. All right, let's let that one go. Yep, you caught up to me and passed me. So we tried sudden death on her. I thought I might could win like that. It didn't work. So one last little thing about this buzz bait. If you've ever buzz bait fish before, usually a lot of them short strike it and they just hit the skirt or they may even hit the blade. That's the main reason we put these frog legs on to give them something to target. As they're moving down there through the water, it gives them, I don't know if you can see that very good, but that's what they're gonna target is those legs. And it gives them a nice little object to go after. So we've got the colors just like we would like them. We've got the sound just right. Add a one alt Gamagatsu trailer hook and you will have the perfect buzz bait. Liz won the challenge with the black widow i am on scrubbing duties for the next month so as always we hope you enjoyed it so get out there on the water challenge your fishing partner to a buzz bait duel 
It make it happen. Good luck, folks.